Alright, I've been told this is a really fucked up one, okay? How to not clean your kitchen stuff. Oh boy, here we go. Alright, I don't know what to expect from this, except I'm guessing it's going to be bad. How to deal with kitchen and bathroom fires. Oh boy. To, uh... Whoa, what the fuck? Holy shit. What in the world is this? No! Oh. No! No! Wait, I'm gonna shut the TV off. No! What? Why would you stop to turn the TV off? Come on! What in the world is this? Oh! Holy shit! Ah! No! 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 Throw water? Wrong. 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 Very wrong. Do not, do not throw water. Ever. So, the reason why I need to explain it to you, okay? I have to explain this to you because I am obligated, okay? Never throw water on a cooking fire. And the reason for that is that if you're cooking, chances are what caught on fire was oil. And if and what does what happens when water and oil touch? Water pushes oil away. And if it's on fire, it will fling globs of burning oil all over your kitchen and potentially all over you. So never, ever put water on a cooking fire. Okay? Ever. You have to you want to starve it of oxygen. So in a case like this, you would want to put a lid on top of it, ideally. And that's that's a good start. If that doesn't work, extinguisher, okay? Extinguisher. Another option that you can do is you can use um you can use um flour. Some people will dump flour on it. Many people will use salt. Salt is another option. And of course, baking soda. Baking soda is if you do not have a fire extinguisher, if you do not have uh, anything else, baking soda. And the reason for baking soda is because baking soda will release carbon dioxide. And yes, salt is pretty good. The... Don't tell her. No. What? Salt or baking soda? Salt can work depending on the type of salt that you have. Anyway, let's keep going. Isn't flour super combustible? It depends, but ideally you want to use baking soda, an extinguisher, or salt. Sand could work, but if you don't have sand, cat litter could work, but that's kind of nasty and you're going to make a mess, but whatever. How the fuck is this happening? Very, very bad, okay? This is, this is the, this is, you literally do not do this. Do not, oh, sorry. I'm so sorry. Do not, I'm sorry. I know, I'm sorry. That was my fault. Pro streamer, I know. All right, here we go. How the fuck is this happening? Oh shit. I'm gonna put the pepper in. And um, how do I put down this fire? <sighs> oh fuck. It's not a good idea to make a video when you're so tired. Oh shit, how do you put a fire out like that? Uh, wait a minute. Oh shit, I hate fire. Maybe with a. Uh, 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 special goo. Juice? Uh, a little bit of juice. Okay, there you go. Fucking juice?
fucking juice? No, if it's stupid and it works, no! No, if you, yeah, first of all, have fun cleaning up the fucking instantaneous caramel that's formed on your fucking thing. But secondly, it has the same problem as the water. If it is an oil fire, it'll splash fire all over the place. <sighs> Who said piss on it? Nuts. You know what, nuts? You know what, nuts? I think you should. I think you should try pissing on an oil fire and see how that turns out. You know, most most humans would think putting my penis near a, fl a burning object is not a good idea. But nuts, if you think that's a good idea, you know, man, more power to you. Let us know how that goes, okay? I once had this fire and I... Dude, turn off the fire, element! And I put some water, okay, to... to uh... To put out the fire, and when I when the water touched the fire, it just exploded. Got even worse. There are, there are some kind. That's because it's an oil fire. Holy shit! Holy fucking shit! There's a fire sometimes that um, that don't. Wait a second. Hold on a minute. What have I just spotted here? Hold on. Sometimes that. Um... This. Hold on. I'm sorry. Do you see what I see? Do you fuckers see what I see down here? Dude is fucking firefighting with meltable shoes that are full of holes. Fucking Crocs! That's literally worse than just cooking barefoot. You, you're actually worse off wearing Crocs than just cooking barefoot. Because if anything hot falls down, it'll melt the Crocs onto your feet. Dude, what the fuck? Um, that don't get taken out. Mm. For fuck's sake, it's still so... We're just trying to get it a bit softer. You can put some... Oh, more shit. You can put some flammable stuff on it, like, um... What?! Like this thing. Okay, this isn't cooking. This isn't cooking. This has got to be something else. Um... But it's, uh... It's not a good idea. Oh. Okay, okay. Okay. So... Let me tell you something else, okay? This is called, this is, what this show is quickly becoming is just moments of savvy with Demon Mama, okay? Of just being savvy. Let me Some show you something, okay? flammable stuff on it, like, um, you know, this thing. So, if you notice, this is a pressurized can, liquid, ren liquid wrench. This is a pressurized can. This guy is moving a pressurized can next to and op and next to a current flame, a burning flame. Please, do not put pressurized cans near heating elements, near your stove, near your microwave, near anything flammable, ever. Any pressurized can is going to fucking explode if it gets hot. Please, please store those things far away from anything flammable. Like... This is, if that fire just heated this shit up, that could blow his fucking arm off. Um, but it's, uh, it's not a good idea. Ouch. It's not a good idea, because it's kind of It's true. I am not the boss of you. If you wish to lose your arm in a horrible bathroom accident, more power to you. But my advice is don't put pressurized. I can't really tell, you know, who am I to judge if you want to die in a bathroom explosion? If that's what you're, if that's what you're here for, you know. I'm like, um, not good to, to drink. Uh, it's like poison or something, so I don't want to put it on your food. Um, pose this to some kind of heat, just to get it a bit softer, because it's still hard. Um. Wait a minute. Oh, well, it doesn't work. Oh, anyway. Uh, let's see. Well, we'll see. Anyway. You know, hot. Whoa. Okay, looks like. Oh, fuck. There's some salt. 
take the fire out. Uh, 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 what the fuck? Guys, first of all, I mean, there's a lot obviously wrong here, okay? Like, you can't just put a grate over an electrical thing, over an electrical coil, and call that a grill. Obviously. The juice will drip down and catch on fire. It is, that is so stupid. But also, just so you know, when I said put salt on the fire, I didn't mean a fucking salt shaker, okay? Okay. A salt shaker will do literally nothing. I meant take like a thing of iodized salt and go whoosh, so it smothers the fire. Not a fucking salt shaker. Okay? Oh my fucking god. There's two reasons. Okay, let me explain. There's two reasons chemically. You know, I'm going to be a little bit of a teacher here for a second. Put my, uh, my half-finished college education to use. Okay? The reason why salt works is because one... Salt has a really high melt at like, uh, what's it called? Combustion point. So the salt isn't going to catch on fire because a fire in the kitchen isn't hot enough to, to, to burn the salt. Secondly, salt is coarse grain very frequently, which means that they clip, they, they pile together and they suck all the air out. So they, they you know, they, they block air because it all grains together. So that's the reason why it works. Okay. It, it won't catch on fire, and the salt grains will fall together and smother the fire. That's why it works, okay? N so, no, a salt shaker won't do anything. Oh my, oh my god, this is so bad. Ah, uh, shit. Yeah. Uh. Come on. Whoa. Heavens. Literally move the meat, you stupid idiot. Take your tongs, move the meat, turn off the heating element, and pour some motherfucking salt on there. This guy is so fucking dumb. Like, I want to say that this is staged, but at the same time, this literally, th we've seen this shit before. People are so fucking stupid in the kitchen. Thank you. Uh, it's gonna die. I'm gonna fucking get. Uh, all right. Uh, huh. On second hey, thought, Blair. um, looks like I need to change the aluminum right now. Welcome to chat. It's all slippery, so it doesn't. The roll well when I try to make it roll with the fork. All right. Usually it says we should put the milk in the blender, but wait a minute, there's smoke. Ah, shit. Ah, for fucks. Nah, wait a minute. Uh, put some water. All right. That happens sometimes. Usually some water and fire goes out. Maybe there was something stuck inside, I don't know. Ah, for fucks sake, what the hell is wrong with this place? What did he put in there? I don't even want to know. Boy, that was a... Uh, boy, that was bad. Oh my god, wait, this guy has a Christmas turkey. This guy has a Christmas turkey video. We're gonna watch it. We're watching it. Hello, people. Alright, everybody, buckle up! We're doing the fucking Christmas turkey. Let's do it! Here we go! So, for millions of years, uh, 
in uh, Christmas, people have eaten turkey. Okay, so now it's Christmas. You see my little Christmas tree and my new machine that I put there you know, to calculate the temperature, you see? So it's really, really hot in here now. Uh, anyway, uh, we're going to make some Christmas turkey. Uh, let's start with uh, turkey. Um, wait a minute. Uh, what happened is that, um, you know, during parties, people also make cake. So we're going to make the two at the same time. Okay. So, not only does he have Windex and a compressed can of what appears to be spray cooking oil sitting on his stovetop, but he also has all kinds of stuff over every other uh, electrical coil on here. This is the biggest health hazard I think we've ever watched on this show. This is so dangerous. This is so fucked up. First of all, having shit piled up on either side of your stove is a bad idea in the first place. Most stoves actually have like a little extra space just to make it so you it's not easy for you to do that. But secondly, having things on the stove, including a combustible can of spray oil and Windex, it is so fucking bad. This is so bad. Even making a video... Even if this guy's faking, this is so fucking dangerous. I mean, I'd rather we're going to make a turkey cake. Uh, so, first thing we need to make cake, of course, aside from turkey, is uh, a pot. This one's too small. I think another one in here. Hey, my floor is coming out pretty well, isn't it? You see the little stuff here is cracking, so I'm going to have to put more, you know, the glue and, and everything. Uh, so I have... Uh, wait a minute. A little pot here. Uh, oh yeah, in case you're wondering why I have shoes in the in the bat, it's because uh, there's a lot of- Oh my- okay. A little pot here. Uh, oh yeah. That's a plunger. That is his toilet plunger. In case plunger. you're wondering why- I That's a toilet plunger. Hold on everybody. I'm sorry. That- is a toilet plunger with toilet paper stuck on it. He, I don't think he's going to wash this pot. I don't think he's going to wash this pot. Fuck. I have shoes in the in the bath. It's because uh, there's a lot of disgusting stuff in there that I don't want to touch with my feet. So anyway, uh, we need the pot, uh, not pot as in like you know marijuana, but pot as in like you know the little metal thingy that we put stuff in it and and put on the fire and stuff like that. All right, pot. Uh, some uh, we have this. Okay, so this is the shit that makes me think this is legit. I know this is like not the nicest thing to say but like the reason i think this is real is because this guy's house unironically looks like a hoarder house and i cannot imagine any of these decisions being made uh by like i don't know let's just say i feel like you'd have like in order to make the type of decisions that this guy is making you'd have to live in a hoarder house no, this is not just a trailer. This is like... This is like... This is... It doesn't... Like, this is a disaster space. There's garbage all over the floor. And now it's possible this could have all been faked and this could all be a set, but that's a lot of work to make a very realistic-looking hoarder house. Yeah. Yeah. I can understand that. I'm not saying like, I'm not saying like hoarders are bad people. I'm not trying to be ableist or anything. I'm just saying that like the types of mistakes that we're seeing here, the types of recklessness does align with like uncontrolled hoarding. But this guy's also putting this stuff on the internet, which is very concerning to me. Little white uh, machine thingy there that to wipe the stuff clean. Like this, it's called paper, I think. Are, well, it's not exactly paper. Paper is like stuff put in the printer. It's more like 
little semi paper uh, stuffy like soft thingy. All right. So when we make cake, we need to put um, some butter in there. I think I have some. Wait a sec, huh? Okay, okay, hold on a second. We'll know this guy's legit if he tastes the food at the end. If we see him taste the food, we'll know he's legit. And the reason why I say that is because this guy just picked up his pot from out of a dirty bathtub with a dirty plunger right next to it, and he's about to cook with an unwashed pot that was just sitting next to a toilet plunger that has clearly been used. If he takes a bite of it, we know that he's legit because we know that it's that like he's actually just doesn't realize that that's filthy and disgusting. That's how we'll know, just so we know. Yeah, butter. Let's... What the fuck is in the bottom of this fridge? What the fuck is in the bottom of this fridge? What is that? What the fuck is that? Okay, again, I don't think this guy's, I don't think this is a fake. I think we've actually found, I think we found a legit nightmare cook. It's too cold. Wait a minute, huh? I'm here. Uh, how do you open this? Uh, uh, fucking butter. Wait a minute. It's it's too cold, so it's like it's all frozen. I'm gonna put it in there for a sec. Uh, to make it uh, more, you know, like soft. So fucking unsafe. This is so fucking dangerous. Soft and all that. Uh, okay, let's uh, wait a minute. Uh, in the meantime, okay, we can take some. Uh By the way, if he accidentally, t if he just accidentally turned on the wrong element, his kitchen's on fire. Uh, turkey. Um, uh, you can replace turkey with uh, tuna because it's really the same thing. I mean, turkey. Uh, the only difference between a turkey and a tuna is that, you know, one is like, I mean, it's both meat, but it, it's, you know, they make a different uh, scapula stuff so that, you know, they force you to buy separate things. You know, one stuff is expensive, another stuff isn't expensive. Because, like, the only difference really is that one of them is an animal that swims in the water and the other is an animal that flies in the air. So, uh, it, it's actually, out. I think the butter is coming uh, pretty well now. It's actually... The only difference, you know, you got one of them an animal swims in the water, and the other, it's an animal that kind of like flies in the air. Um, mm, not yet. And so, uh, basically, if you want to have real turkey, you just need to take some tuna and actually, you know, kind of like compensate for the, the missing air in the overflowing water. Uh, so we're going to open the can. You have to just compensate from the mi for the missing air and for the extra water. Yeah. I mean, on unironically though, like that could be, I mean, okay. We're, I am in no place to armchair psychologize, but that could be inane babbling or it could be a sign that this guy's a, a like a troll. Uh, this is tough. This is fucking tough. Kind of tuna. It's difficult with one hand holding a camera, but wait a minute. Uh, okay, I got it. Hmm. So what we can do is, uh, difference, this would be turkey if it had been in the air instead of in the water. Uh, I swear, I mean, if people had voted for Al Gore, we wouldn't have the need to do this. I mean, there would be no more snow and... No more, uh, all right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Hold on a minute. Wait a second. Eh? Uh, we have to take the water away, so put the stuff in there.
see now we're putting the air uh, to compensate and make this thing into turkey, you see? All right, now we're gonna take this off and put it back in the box. So now we have actual Christmas turkey. Um, and uh, I think the butter's about ready now. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, it, uh, it smells bad. It actually smells like, you know, in the movie theater, you, you buy popcorn. It smells like butter. Oof. Ah, yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, yeah, so we need to wipe this stuff again with the machine thingy, paper towel thingy there. I, uh, wait a sec, okay? Like the pile of hair combs, the hair brushes. We're gonna wipe everything clean. Ew, dude! To make a Christmas turkey cake, a uh, real cake uh, that you're gonna eat at Christmas. Okay, uh, put some stuff there. Uh, so you need the first thing when you're making a cake, you need to put butter uh, in the pot so that the stuff doesn't kind of like explode and like I mean whatever it's like a tradition there uh, so hot for fuck's sake uh, god damn it what the yeah uh, yeah uh, uh, we're gonna put some heat in there because it Butter, even with them. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, what the hell is this? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Okay, so a lot, of, a lot of people do think this is legit. I mean. There are elements of this that make me think it's legit. There are consistencies here. This is really hard. This is really tough. Yeah, I can understand someone getting to this point. But like, boy. Okay, we're gonna wait. Uh... Oh yeah, I have to take this away because the stuff can explode if I put it too hot, close to the... I use this when I want to burn things and I put some of this stuff on it and then I, I light it up with a lighter so it can burn pretty much anything. The problem is that I left it there once on one of those bottles and it's just... Okay, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna shut this down. Uh, okay, the water's... What did I stumble into? Well, first of all, welcome back to chat, Lady Hopium. Good to see you. Uh, but also, we have no idea. I, I was sent this channel by one of our lovely imps I have never seen this channel before. To my knowledge, I may have seen a clip or something. I don't know anything about this guy. So I don't know if this guy is faking. We don't know if this is a performance. We don't know if this is real. There's a lot of evidence that points towards it being real, but there's also some stuff that's like testing our ability to believe. It's really tough. This one's a rough one. We're not sure exactly what this is. Starting to, all right, the butter's starting to melt so I can put it. Okay, wait a minute. Uh, okay. The yeah, sound. Oh, God. Uh, the next thing, we put a little bit of floor so that uh, well, the stuff can, like, you know, stick. Uh, how did this uh, floor? Well. Okay, guys, I'm gonna tell you something else, okay? I'm sorry. Oh, this dude, this dude's having a bug sandwich, all right? Listen up. This guy's fucking flower bag is sitting open in this disgusting kitchen. There are 100% bugs in that shit, okay? You know how people get those things that sift out the flour? Now, the reason why you sit, why flour sifters exist is for twofold. One, it gets clumps out of your flour. Two, it gets clumps out of your flour that aren't actually clumps, but that are bugs. I don't know if you guys know this, but very, a very, very, the most, one of the most common types of beetle in the world, 
looks for flour to lay its eggs in. So the reason why people use those little things is to get that shit out. Now, to be fair, nowadays, most people have airtight storage for their flour. Most people have like good storage good flour storage, so most people don't worry about it as much. It's not as common to sift your flour, but this guy's house is a fucking wreck. There is 100% chance that shit is riddled with bugs, okay? I know it's disgusting, but the fucking weevils, the mealworms, he's eating fucking mealworms right now, okay? Uh, we could have this kind of like... Fucking, corner. You ever heard of the game Bug Snacks? That's what we're watching right now. Fucking Bug Snacks. Okay, that's okay. Uh, now uh, we're gonna make uh, the actual cake. And we need eggs. I have eggs here, and uh, we need to mix the eggs with some flour, and and it's gonna make like a little cake thingy thingy out there. Uh, wait a minute, eh? Uh, okay, so I'm gonna... Yeah, you know what, Morningstar? Uh, Morningstar says, If he's acting, I appreciate the clear research into all the little details for how to act and how to present his environment. If you're gonna make a joke, I guess at least make it an accurate one. I guess so. If this guy is acting, it's spectacular, which is why I'm having fun watching it. But it's really hard to tell. Like, it's possible this is like an ongoing character or bit. But I don't know. This is a level of devotion. This is a level of devotion that's, like, really high. Ah, uh, nah, nah, get out of here. Get the fuck out of here with the eat the bug shit. We're not talking about the bug protein right now. Fucking goddamn it. Use a blender. I think it's... The problem with the blender is that I've cleaned it with CLR, like this stuff. So I'm kind of afraid to drink it. Cleaned it with CLR, like this stuff. So So for those who don't know what CLR is, okay? CLR is calcium lime remover, okay? That is a, that is a fucking bathroom chemical that's designed to clean lime out of plumbing. It is a, a highly, highly corrosive, uh, 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 fucking chemical. Holy shit. You do not use that. You do not use that for any cookware. You do not use that for anything. Other than fucking pipes. You understand? Holy shit. He used it to clean his blender. He used it to fucking clean his blender. No. No. It will leave toxic residue. No. Fuck no. I'm kind of afraid to drink anything that's been coming from it. So I've kind of like put a lot of stuff in there, kind of like to clean the CLR away. Uh, so if I die making this video, you can call a, a poison control center. And I think the tuna is almost falling behind here. Ah, okay. Uh, so we need the uh, floor. Oh my God, wait a minute. Okay, hold on guys, I have a theory. What if he was talking about the, the, the tuna thing because he's heard the phrase chicken of the sea and the brand of tuna is chicken of the sea and so he thinks that turkeys and chick and turkeys and tuna are basically the same because tuna is sometimes referred to as chicken of the sea and there's a brand of tuna called chicken of the sea did i just have like a did i just have like i think i had a schizo uh brain blast i just did schizo analysis on this video Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Am I wrong though? Is that not like the kind of like... I could be wrong. But... 
and eggs uh, to bake a cake. Uh, wait a minute. Uh, it's, give me that. Uh, uh, uh. Okay. You can also put water. Yeah, I, I tend to be kind of like, I tend to be a little, little knowledgeable about this. And like, like, you know, people, people who experience psychosis and, and like schizoid tendencies, their, their thoughts aren't random. They're just, they're not like, the reasoning isn't like logical. There, there is a logic to it. It's just different than the logic most people use. So like, yeah, there's a consist there, there's there's a sense to it. Like I mean, this has been written about extensively. It's just like when you get to certain levels of like, uh, of like psychosis. Like there are the connections that are made are chaotic. To to like yeah, they get exactly. It it dots get connected differently. Um, there's a there's a term. Okay, so th I'm gonna reach into some fucking lefty philosophy here for a second. In Deleuze, he talks about how, um, like, uh, this is sort of the schizoid thought process or the schizotyp... I can't remember what the right word is. Um, like, thought process is more like taking bricks from a wall and sort of reassembling them. It's like they're still bricks, they're still connected, but they're like, they're not connected to make a wall. They're connected to make something else. Does that make sense? Schizotypal? Yeah, schizotypal. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah. So it's like, there are, there is a sense to it, but it's just like, uh, not, it's not even necessarily that it's wrong. It's just a totally different way of looking at it. Anyway. Supposed to. Uh, uh, yeah. Disgusting. Yeah. 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 Uh, okay, let's just put it like that uh where's the where's the top wait did That's he just drop a whole to. egg in there yeah. so the first egg got broken uh yeah disgusting yeah 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 uh, okay let's just put it like that uh he just put the whole egg in he just got distracted and put a whole egg in. Uh, where's the, where's the top? Uh, I had a little black thing here. Did, uh, why did I put it? It's not here. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh, yeah, we can put the tuna also. All right. What the hell was that? Uh, okay. Okay, it wasn't on even. Try this again. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, he should have put in water. Uh, how do we transport water? Because water is there, and uh, um, yeah. Um, maybe with this, use... This stuff. Alright. Okay. Uh... Shut it down now. Oh, okay. Let's do this. Yeah, I think I think so, Manticore. I think this is what people thought that I was talking about uh, when I was talking about people knowing how to make medicine if they need to, if they're going to be cut out by the fucking government. Yep. Why isn't it working? What the hell? More Dude, water, you, maybe. You dissolve... No, you dissolve the motor. 
you dissolve the motor with the fucking CLR probably, or you dissolve the um, or you dissolve the the connectors. All right, we're gonna put some buka mix as well. Uh, yeah. Uh. Alcohol. What is this? It's alcohol. This is a fucking liqueur. He's putting a fucking liqueur in there. Sambuca? Mm. Bruh. Right. Let's try this again. I think that's enough. Uh, okay, so we're gonna put this stuff in the pot. Uh, 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 uh. What's wrong here? There's a lot of stuff that kind of like not sticking, or whatever. Uh, you can also add uh, some uh, extra Christmas stuff like sausages. Um, uh, that's not a sausage, uh, that's a hot dog! Alright. Oh, sausages. that's a, that's a hot dog. sausages uh, would be okay. Um, I'm gonna have a knife handy. Uh, I mean, we're gonna use this as a knife. Um. Wait a minute, huh? Where is it? Ah, there it is. All right. Uh. Oh yeah, when you're making a cake, you also need some uh, magic powder because if you don't uh, put magic powder, it's not going to uh, rise. Uh, uh. Okay. <sighs> what is this? What is this? What's magic powder? What's magic powder? What the fuck is magic powder? Is that baking powder? MSG? Crack? It's not cocaine. It's not fucking cocaine. Where is it? Where's the magic powder? Okay. Wait, hold on. So. Rise. Uh, extra Christmas stuff like sausages. Um, and, uh, we could cut the. I'm gonna have a knife handy. Uh, I mean, we're gonna use this as a knife. Uh, some uh, magic powder. Pudre a pate magic. Pudre a pate magic. Oh, it is magic baking powder. So it's a Canadian thing. Oh, it's it's oh it's a it's a special type of baking powder that has two ingredients. Let's take a look. Hold on, can we look at this? Can we see the, uh, where's the ingredients? Okay, so it's like, it looks like it's got powder and cornstarch or something? Okay, interesting. It's baking powder, okay? Sure.
All right, whatever. Because if you don't uh, put magic powder, it's not going to uh, rise. Uh, it's not going to rise anyway, dude. Okay. This shit is not going to rise anyway. You fucked this shit. <sighs> Christmas beautiful, isn't it? All right, so we got our Christmas cake. Oh my God, Comrade uh, with Dragon. Turkey and uh, and some Christmas sausages and a Christmas tree watching over us. There's no little angel over there, but whatever. Okay, uh, let's mix it. I think I have, oh yeah, a spoon. Oh, no, you guys know what this is? This is rotten apple. You know, when I eat an apple, I, you know, put this kind of plastic stuff around it, and then I put, like, duct tape over it so that the rotting cannot kind of, like, come off stuff. Okay, so yet again, another point towards being legit. Wrapping an apple core in duct tape so it doesn't get rot everywhere is, yeah, that's that's some hoarding shit. Yep. So here's our Christmas cake. Uh... Yeah. Put the Christmas cake in the uh, Christmas oven. <laughs> and we're gonna put it at uh, 500 Fahrenheit for a couple of hours. 500 Fahrenheit for a couple of hours? Okay, it's gonna be a fire. We're gonna yeah. get another yeah. fire. Uh, 500. So right now, uh, basically, what we have to do is wait. In the meantime, uh, we can prepare uh, the the sauce for for the cake. Uh, but I'm gonna clean up a little bit first. Uh, um, the spoon is just disgusting with all this uh, weird stuff thingy there. Uh, Yeah. Oh, that was coming out again. Uh, okay. Um, let's clean this. Uh, I have some uh, shampoo. All right. Um, I don't know why it's so hard in there. Ugh. Give it a sec. I got a new battery. Uh, I'm trying to put some... Alright. Shampoo to clean the stuff up a little bit. Okay. I think this is real. I think this is fucking real. No way somebody prepped this shit. This is just fucking... This has got to be real. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. Oh, that's just even like that. Uh, okay. Now we're going to make the cake sauce. You know, when the cake becomes hard, you know, it's a little stuff that, you know, gets over it. Uh, okay. Oh. You know, they say that if you put poison in your cake, you can die while you're caking it, because even if you don't drink the poison, you know, the stuff, like the air is going to be poisoned. So just by breathing it, you can, you can die. So if you want to make a joke to your friends, you know, by 
inviting them over and making them drink, you know, or eat the poison cake. You gotta be warned, you have to put the poison, like, after, because if you put it, like, in the cake, um, you can die while cooking it. Or whatever, so, uh... Okay, I, I knew a guy in college who would make jokes like this all the time. And, like, he wasn't a serial killer. He was just s extremely awkward. And so he would make jokes about, like, stuff like that. And it was really uh, it was really uncomfortable, and we had to, like, sit down and have a talk with him. But, like, yeah. I, I want to give this guy the benefit of the doubt and hope he's not actually poisoning anybody. But also, the hygiene here, he's going to die. Like, the, there was a toilet pot used. He reached into the toilet and then wiped his hands off without ever watching them, washing them and went right back to cooking. There's fucking unbroken raw eggs in here. Like, this shit is dangerous. Okay? I mean, thankfully, Lady Hopium, I don't think anyone in the world is going to take advice from this guy. Like, I don't think, I don't think there's anybody, I don't think there's almost anyone who will not realize this is wrong. Yeah, okay, we're going to make the sauce. Um, I don't have chocolate. I can make lemon sauce. I love lemon cake. Uh, I need a plate or a pot or, or something that looks like it. Uh, nah, but, uh, uh, I guess there was something. Uh, oh, this is going to do. Okay. Uh, sorry. It's my coffee cup. Uh, so lemon and uh, sugar. Uh, and the cake. Uh, uh, okay. You got some lemon. You can also use lemon and sugar thing uh, to make candy. Are also uh, to, uh, uh, to uh, make uh, stuff for your bread or stuff, something like toast or. All right. Okay. So uh, yeah, sugar. Damn, it's getting really hot in here because of. Why is the sugar in the fridge? The the oven it smells good, don't you think? Ah, a good Christmas cake. Uh, Uh, we can use a blender for this, but the blender is kind of like, uh, you know, sick now, so. Um, all the people in my kitchen are like human beings, you know, they're like, they get sick, so I have to put them in the water for a little while, and, and it gets cleaner and stuff. Uh, oh, there was a knife. Didn't see that. Uh, Wait a minute. Maybe my right hand is stronger. Okay. So you put the lemon to make the the cake sauce. Yeah. So you just, what you heard, that little ting that you just heard, that was a seed flying into his sauce, quote unquote. Uh, yeah, I get that. Well, there's another seed, two more seeds. Yeah, we got three seeds at least in there. Uh, there's another seed. I wonder if the cake is about to be ready. I don't have a timer on this machine because it was. You said it was going to go in for a few hours, and you've been you've been making the sauce for less than ten minutes.
built like in the 1980s or something. You know, back then, people had like, you know... This is supposed to be a special Christmas turkey cake. There's no turkey in it. There's tuna, which he says is just like turkey, except lives in the water. And there's hot dogs in it, which he calls sausages. And there is a whole egg in it. Sand clock, you know, that you put over and would tell you, like, whatever. Uh, uh, you know, I think the fundamental nature of truth is really, you know, looking with your eyes at the reality around you. Uh, like, if something cuts in half, it means that, you know, something's cut in half, you know? But that's kind of like just an illusion, because, like, you know, lemon being cut in half, it's just like uh, language. It's not like reality. And in reality, like, you know, you don't know if there's really, like, a lemon in front of you, you know? Like, it might be some kind of, you know, monster disguised as a lemon or, like, what, what if it was? I mean, there would be no way to know, like, you know? Uh, it's like aliens, you know, walking around and stuff. What the? Yeah. There's a strange noise in there. Yeah, uh, dude. Totally, man. Uh, where's the spoon? I had a spoon. You remember that little spoon I used? Uh, I was... I'm going to use this. What the hell is this? Uh, oh yeah. It was there. Forgot about that. See, it's clean now. All right. Yeah, put the other lemon. Ah, I don't know. No, this is fantastic, okay? All right, listen, don't cry. The guy's clearly fine. He's uploaded like a hundred of these. All right? We have to see it through, okay? We have to see it through. He's not gonna die. We know that he lived. This video wasn't, this video was submitted in 2014 and he's uploaded a lot of videos since this. We know he's okay. Oh, come on! Wait a minute! Are you- are you all for real? Are you for real? Now it's- now you're gonna claim it's ableism? You didn't even know ten minutes ago and you were all laughing! Nope, we're finishing the video. My hands are kind of slippery because, like, it's all coming out. All right, everybody. Okay, then. Here's the deal, okay? Here's the deal. All right? Hold on. Okay. Here we go. Okay, everybody? All right. Here we go. Okay? If you feel bad about it, then this is a, a sad video. And if you don't feel bad about it, then this is a funny video. Okay, so I will just will watch the rest of the video and you can interpret my comments however you please. If you want to cancel me about it, please upload a video to YouTube and then you can tag me in it about how I'm super ableist or whatever. Okay, and and don't worry, I'll definitely watch your video. Okay. I wonder what the cake looks like now. Oof, wow, the smoke is coming out of there. Oof. Goddess Trans Girl says, what if I have mixed feelings? Well, you should talk to your, uh, you should talk to a therapist or a priest or a rabbi. Any one of those things. A strange taste of Christmas turkey something sausage. Yeah, he's fine. He's alive. We know that we know this guy's fine.
Ah. So I guess Here's this the is right. You can put this over the, the cake like that. So now the next step is just wait until the cake is ready. Uh, so we're gonna see. Uh, wait, I think I have a light somewhere. Cause it's pretty dark. Now. Where do I find these people? They are. They come to me. Birds bring me. My birds fly to the Discord and tell me. You don't have to leave. We're just watching a video that somebody uploaded onto the internet. We have not been mean. We have not called names. We have simply reacted. It is gross, okay? Sometimes people make gross things. Sometimes totally mentally well people make gross things. Sometimes people who might not be mentally well make gross things. There is a huge spectrum. And if we can only watch videos from people who are mentally well, we can't watch any videos at all because everyone in the world has mental problems. Okay. Don't, you don't have to leave. You don't have to do anything bad. I didn't say any, no, no slurs, no nothing. We'd had a, a very brief discussion about, in fact, uh, a, a very brief discussion. Now the fun is ruined, though. Yeah, here's the link. If you want to watch it and check it out, there you go. Well, now it's not fun anymore. It's all right. Look, we can finish the video. I know we can finish it, but now, now, was it ever? Oh, my God. Look, it's not just you. Look, there's like three people getting on my ass about it. Okay. Yeah, they're still what? They're still fucking they're still kicking. 2021. They put a video up fucking a while ago. They're fucking doing just fine. They're doing just fucking fine. Nobody's fucking doing anything. We're just watching there. this guy's video and seeing if it's fuck if the turkey's good, all right? Damn. It's oh, all good. It it's all good. So, we're going to take a look. Does it look ready? No. Mm, no. Sort of. No. Not really. No. It's still a bit. No. So, I'm going to pause the camera now, and I'm going to come back in a few minutes. All right, see you guys. All right, we've got a little bit of a situation here. There's a lot of smoke. I don't think you can see it with a camera, but this place is all smoky. So we're going to check if the cake is ready. Uh, you use a straw uh, to see if the cake is ready. Oof. Ugh. Ugh. You put the straw in the cake. Oh, it doesn't even come out. Oh, yeah, the cake is ready. All right. Yeah, no one's so bullying. We're just on a journey. There's nothing bullying here. We're just in awe of the, the un- orthodox cooking methods we got our and i'm trying to tell people uh genuine advice so that they don't get sick christmas cake uh, we're gonna turn the stuff off and wait until the little red thing he becomes black again damn nuts i never thought i never thought that we would be on the same side of an issue nuts i never thought nuts me and nuts right now so now it's december the 24th uh, well, I just, I don't know what I'm, I don't know what awareness there would be. The guy's just a bad cook. Like, yeah, it looks like his living situation sucks, but who knows? What, what if there's like, we don't know anything else about this guy. What if he has a loving family and he just has a hoarding problem and that's just, and he's just a little gross. He's clearly still alive. So, you know. I think, I think there was a cut. It's all Christmas Eve. 
Um, I heard uh, black people have their own Christmas in two days. It's called Kaza, like, uh, you know, the stuff you download porn from. And, uh, you know, they're the Jews. <laughs> okay, come on! You guys, there's no way you can tell me that this is an easy, an easy read as to whether this is a performance art or whether this is not, okay? That right there, that is one of those ones that makes you go, this has to be a performance. I want to hear what he says about the Jews, okay? Uh, you know, the stuff you download porn from. And, uh, you know, they're, the Jews have a week-long Christmas called Anuka and stuff like that. So, it's all kind of Close enough. You know? Anuka, Anuka, Hanukkah, close enough. Because, like, if you celebrate Christmas, you're pretty much offending everybody else. If you celebrate Kazaa, you're offending everybody who doesn't celebrate that. If you celebrate Anuka, you're offending everybody who doesn't celebrate that. What? So... Uh, if you want to send death threats, uh, you can send them, uh, you know, to a random address or something and hope that, you know, the random address gets to me. So, um, uh, I don't know if I can take this. I don't have, you know, wait a minute. Uh, oof. Uh, how am I gonna take this out? Is that like a, is that like one of those bunny like bunny rabbit dildos? What is this? What is this? This this looks like one of those fucking vibrators. Am I wrong? It does. It looks like one of those ones. You know what I'm talking about? Oof. Yeah, the rabbit, the rabbit or whatever they're called. Uh, how am I gonna take this out with this heat? Uh, wait a minute. Um, I'm not gonna burn myself. Um, there has to be some kind of a machine here to dig things. Um, what's it? Uh, um, that's not gonna work. Here. Yeah. What's in here? What's this? Uh, no. Uh. A garbage bag. Uh, oh yeah. Maybe a towel is gonna work. Oh, got smoke in my eyes. I need to get some hazard paper for this. Okay. Thank God I don't have a fire alarm. But the firefighters are here already. Thank you, you know, atheist man. They handcuffed me and they shot me with a taser. All right. Oof. Hey, already you know I would have handcuffed me and, and shot me with a taser already thank god I don't have a fire alarm but the, the firefighters are here already you know I would have handcuffed me and, and shot me with a taser is that what do the fire fire firefighters do not carry tasers okay they definitely do not all right Oof. ah Looks delicious, doesn't it? Okay, um... Uh, I need a plate. <laughs> okay, everybody, this is the moment of truth. If he eats the food, we know that he's legit. If he doesn't eat the food, he's a fraud. Well, this is kind of, you know, homemade recipe passed down from generation to generation for millions of years. You know, you're not going to get something this good at a restaurant. Because restaurants is just like capitalist propaganda. They put poison in the stuff so that, like, you know, even if it kills you... <laughs> even if it kills you, you're going to come back uh, to eat again. Damn, this thing's hot. Uh, I think I burned my finger. Ah! Damn it. Uh, I need a knife. There was one here. Ow, my finger. Fuck. I just erased my uh, fingerprints. Next time I get to the airport, they're gonna kill me. Alright, where's my knife? There it is. Ow. Ow.
Damn, I really got burned. Uh, all right. Uh, how do we take this from here and put it on the plate? Um, put the camera down for a second. Flip uh, it. Maybe with the towel again. Uh, let's see. From what I remember of the something awful thread on this guy, he's actually got a law degree and is a corporate lawyer. Huh. Huh. I guess that goes to tell you. Anybody can be a bad cook. Uh, let's see if it works. Spilled the, he spilled the sauce. Okay. Let's wait a sec. Wow! Ah! Damn it. So hot. That's oh. the third that's the third time he's burned his fingers on the metal pot that he put it a whole ass metal pot he put in the oven. Oh my god, you're right. This is Mr. Plinkett. This is just fucking Mr. Plinkett. Ah. Damn. Okay. Oh. Okay. That's only part of the cake. Uh... It looks delicious, eh? Okay, wait a minute. Damn. My fingers. Shit. Ah. Look at this. It's all. Oh, I thought that was back. a hot dog. I thought he. <laughs> okay, I literally thought he was showing a hot dog for a second. Holy shit. Damn. Okay. Let's try it again. Oof. Um. Ah. Uh. Never realize the cooks, you know, that they go through so much risk. You know, the next time you make a cake at a restaurant or something, you gotta remember that people risk their lives for this. You know, in a capitalist society, you know, like cooks like. So, so this again, this is the moment of truth. So we were able to discern that King Cobra JCS, that guy is legit. He always eats his food. He actually thinks the food he's making is like great and shit. We will find out if this guy is the real deal. If he eats that putrid shit that he just made, then we then I'm willing to conclude that the, that he's the real deal. If not, it's a bit. You know, they risk their lives on the job uh, for the really rich companies and all that. Okay, that cake is done. Uh, I'm gonna clean the pot now because right now it's pretty much useless. Uh. Put the the sauce. Mm. 
So we got the Christmas turkey cake. Um, it's really delicious stuff. Mm. Man, this is the kind of cake that, you know, there are no words to describe. There you go. Christmas cake. All right, I'm going to take a picture to remember this. Uh, where's my camera? Wait a sec. I think... Um, uh, there it is. Okay. Let's take a little picture. Wait. Okay. Let's see. Hey, that's good. Oh, you think? That's a good picture. Oh, I'm going to remember this forever. Now, let's taste. I feel sorry for you guys you're not here with me. Because it takes part with the sausage, of course. Mm. Oops. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna shut this off for now. Merry Christmas, everybody. It's a bit! You motherfuckers! You fucking shits! I knew it! You all got all woke scoldy on me, and you're like, oh, Demon Mama, this feels bad! It's a fucking bit! You shits! You fucking pieces of shits! I told you it was too hard to judge. I told you it was too hard to judge. He didn't even bite it at the end. He faked us out. Dude's a fraud. I knew it. Fucking called it.